I'm Kristen Sorth, and I'm the director and CEO of the St. Louis County Library District. We have 20 branches all over St. Louis County. We provide traditional library services and also some non-traditional library services that really make us a center of community. Making change is always hard, but I think that libraries are so used to changing and adapting. We always say that if we stayed the way we were even 15 years ago, then we might be going away. We can can't just be a place where people just check out books, come in quickly, and then leave. We need to be a place that's meaningful and um, really impacts people's lives. So I think we are used to doing that, maybe not during a multiple pandemics, but we change and we talk and we figure out what works and we figure out what doesn't work and then we just keep moving forward. And we certainly did it this time. We decided not to just hunker down and wait till this passed and we just walked straight in to what was happening in our community and came up with all kinds of creative ways to help the community. Being the lead agency on remote learning and technology as part of the COVID-19 regional response team. And that um, put us in a unique place to really support schools, school districts, families, some of our partners like Operation Food Search, St. Louis Area Diaper Bank, right away. So we instantly started offering drive-through service for meals, diapers, period supplies, and then many other nonprofits in the region reached out to us and asked if they could also distribute things to our patrons. And so we did that all at our branches. We're an organization that likes to start with yes and work back from there. And so in this case, we just kept saying yes, whether it was to deliver STEM kits via curbside, anything that people approached us with, we said yes and we, we made it work. Operation Food Search, we have partnered with them for years to do summer meals and after school meals for kids. This partnership just has been so important. We, just this week, we have reached the million meal mark. Just to give you a comparison, in a normal summer we serve 15,000 meals. The people who are missing us probably the most are the people that come in and use our technology. Access is more important than ever. We have boosted our Wi-Fi on our parking lots. We are working on how to extend that further into the community because we know that access to the internet is a basic need and a lot of people don't have reliable internet access. So we're actually going to be purchasing Chromebooks and hotspots and bundling them together for patron checkout so people can come and get a hotspot and a Chromebook to check out for a couple weeks. I really think that the, the role that the library plays with technology will continue to grow. And then just our buildings being the center of community for some, of, some places where our branches are, the library is the center of community. Everyone comes there for you know anything that they might need. It's been a really interesting year and I think the most important thing that I've learned is to listen to people and to really hear what they're telling you, hear what they say they need, and to ask first before you decide to um, start offering a program and ser or service or how to do something. I think to being able to say yes, being able to say, well, this didn't work, let's try something else and see how that works. All of those things, it, you just had to shift and move and just when you thought, things were gonna be one way, then something changed again. So it was just being responsive to what the community needed.